Today I will show you how you can automatically add links to third-party resources like for example Jira issues or Zendesk tickets to your GitHub issues, pull requests, etc. using custom keywords. This is 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In these episodes, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about a new feature of GitHub that not many people know about, the auto-link references. Let's start the clock and get into it. You probably know that GitHub automatically creates links when a standard URL is typed or pasted into an issue or any other markdown field. And that also creates links to other pull requests, issues, and commits when you use the proper notation, like the hash for referencing an issue. What you probably don't know is that you can create custom keywords and shortcuts to add automatic link creation for third-party resources. Let's say, for example, you're using an external tool to track the user-reported tickets. You can add a reference to a ticket number into your issue or pull request you open to fix that issue and have it linked automatically to the third-party tool. And this basically works with anything that is reachable by URL. But let me show you how to do this. All right, first thing you want to do is set up your custom keywords or shortcuts. To do so, we go to settings. And if we scroll down, we see these auto link references. Click on it and in here, we can set up the new autolink references. Let's click on add. Here you're gonna select a prefix or a shortcut or a keyword if you want, and then you will use the target URL. Let's say for example, I wanna reference some Discord channels in my issues or PR. I will select something like Discord, maybe with a dash, and then I'm gonna paste the URL of Discord plus this num variable. So as you can see also in the preview over here, what GitHub will do is whenever we use the Discord dash keyword in our issues or anywhere else, plus the ID of the page, issue or element we are going to link to, it will automatically create a full link to the service we are referencing. Add the reference and let's go for example to our issues. Let's create a new issue, give it a title and a description. Now to link our Discord channel, we will use the Discord dash keyword as we've said, and we will use the ID of the channel I want to link. And when I submit the issue or when I save the comment or the pull request, you name it, you see that automatically the shortcut has been created, it's been converted in a link. And in fact, if I click on it, I'm brought to my Discord server in the channel I mentioned. This is pretty cool, right? Let's go back to GitHub because there's only one small limitation that we need to consider when creating the auto link references. In fact, the ID of what you're trying to link to must be a number. Currently, alphanumeric IDs are yet not supported. Keep this in mind when you're trying to create your auto link references, but this works great with any URL based service that use numeric IDs to reach its pages, element, issues, tickets, or whatnot. Cool, right? One thing to note is that the autolink references are available in GitHub Pro and Teams and in GitHub Enterprise Cloud and Enterprise Server. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the auto-reference links, auto-reference links, the autolink references. For me, it's a very cool feature and I can think about like 100 different ways I have to use it. You may also want to watch the video right here because it contains a lot of insights on how you can use GitHub like a pro. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.